Ba boom. Andrew, I love having you here, buddy. Yeah, no, I This has been a it. really, really fun time. Thanks so much. I, I always love hanging out with you. <laughs> I'm not getting a chance to do me it too, nearly. Me too, I know. Nearly as much. I know. I'll, I, I will soon have a lot more time, which is nice. Well, we'll, either, we'll get you in on season two yeah. or we'll get you to commentate, one or the yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's more fun, right? I know. Being in the battle or like being able to commentate? The most fun, optimizing fun, would be alternating. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's yeah, you do a season and then you comment. Yeah, yeah you do a yeah. season and you comment. Yeah, yeah maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll do a season one time. Get that Wrath means, of Goff and Andrugan in there. That means the pressure would be on to uh, win the credentials to comment. Right, like right? If, we, if we can sit here and talk about these people like we know what we're talking about, yeah, we better yeah, not make yeah. those mistakes. <laughs> We're already not calling the right winners. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Deluge took a bad hand. Like he's doing yeah. it again. Look, he, he he's he, got an all black hand this time. He honestly, and he's choosing to keep it. To his credit, he honestly would have done what I would have done. <laughs> that, whether or not that's to his credit or demise, like that. All I, right. I, you sometimes have to with with. I don't know. Maybe his deck was good enough. He should have mauled once. Yeah. Let's go back here. Okay. So all is Justin Travis Arrogance. Who's got it? Oh. Is just going on three today, or is arrogance going to take it? This is the this is the two O bracket. This is the O two bracket. O two. They both lost. Oh, they both lost twice. Yes. This is for who the ultimate loser is. Oh. <laughs> we love you, Justin. Travis is O two. I think Travis is going to get it. Travis will get it. Yeah. I think. Austere so. Command versus Deluge. Who's got this one? Um. Oh yeah, I'm going Rob. Yeah, no, it's Rob. It's, it's Deluge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Blasphemous Jack versus Decree. Oh, that's a tough one, eh? Although that I I, I don't know, uh, it's it's actually a better matchup for Austin than I thought for against Rob. But yeah. anyway, uh, what about Decree versus Blast? I'm trying to remember. Blast so all, all right. the white, all the white, like goes wide. Decree okay. just value and and die rolling. Yeah. Although in this case. <laughs> yeah, I still we haven't seen the book of exalted deeds go no, off. No, we yet. haven't. Yeah. It hasn't been coming out once. Yeah, I, and that's then, what I'm waiting for. Hannah, I, I, I do think I do think. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my money on decree on this. Decree, one. yeah, okay. I think. And the big yeah. one, Kipling, who just drops his first land as a hydra. Yeah, Kipling versus Term. This Ooh, is the two O bracket. I think Termer right? Chris takes it. Termer Chris has uh, way I too much way too much uh, piloting value. Although, so although too. if Kipling goes fast, here's the other thing. Termagris has a huge tool against uh, Kipling. What's that? The, Recursion. The 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 wrath, the sphere of an. Oh, the sphere. And, oh, and he yeah. He can just yeah, set it mind. on two and kill most of Kipling's relevant stuff. Yeah. Like, Here it's we go. Literally a cheap wrath. The druid. It takes a turn, but it's a cheap wrath against uh, Kipling wave. Wow, I can't believe he's evolving wilds for a swamp. All right, who are we punching in on here? Let's punch in on this table. Decree and Blasphemous are already starting the grind. And Kip versus Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to determine the ultimate loser. Why am I not in the building? <laughs> well, because I'm here, okay? <laughs> uh huh. Oh, okay. Face reversal. I like that card. It's, I didn't realize Rob had that in his deck. Face reversal. It's like um, a raise dead, uh, but it ventures you. Which is really good against yeah. Magic Missile. Yeah. Okay, he's got his spread of mana now. He's got two treasures and a handful of land. Look at this. Yeah. Ooh, Chris. He probably is holding Black Dragon. He just can't cast We're it. We're missing the whole Chris thing. Like He he is removing everything oh, that, wow. that uh, Kipling's wow. putting down. And Kip is dropping like... He's dropping creatures like it's his job. There we go. Also, I think I I, I don't know what Austin has in hand, but I think okay. I love so his deck because he can play. He can, he can play stuff at flash speed, like he can place everything at instant Ooh, speed. Bad roll. So he could have been holding the draw to there. He could have tapped down a creature. He could have countered something. Like I, lo I love that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has. He obviously doesn't have all those in hand. Ooh, owl bear. I mean, I guess we should be mostly watching the feature match. Yeah, before trample. yeah we'll get back to yeah. no six. No six. We just yeah. Black Dragon. Yeah, I think, see, he did have it in Next hand. time, we, needed, should, we should have put the two feature matches. He needed a target, that's all. Oh, we got the golem out. So Kipling just keeps dropping cards to try and go wide to hold up. Mm -hmm. He has one card left in hand. And look at how many cards Chris has got. Oh, I know. And remember, if he draws that sphere. Look what he's like, got in his hand. Like, he's got yeah. just nothing but value in there. Yeah. 
Like it's not looking good. Owl bears so good. Owl bears <laughs> so good. Isn't that right, TK? Owl bears aren't they so good? <laughs> we played uh, D and D last week uh, nice, on Sunday's nice. Deadliest Dungeon, and TK Sweet. is one of our benefactors. He subscribes Sweet. and he throws a lot of bits to keep the party alive. Oh, amazing! We fell into a trap. We got bear traps that were polymorphed owl bears, and we put them into oh. our backpacks, and then our backpacks got destroyed because they turned into owl bears, oh, and we had to fight them uh, unexpectedly, <laughs> and it was disgusting. Wow. That's uh, that's fifth edition, I'm assuming. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, it was nice, quite the trap. Nice. It was it was epic. It was very epic. Uh, let's see here. Over this past year, I played a little bit of the uh, the Witcher uh, RPG. Any good? It, yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Okay, what do we got here? Dragon's Fire. Okay, go back to. Uh, Man, I don't know where I want to go. Austin's table or stay at the the feature match. But the feature match is quite interesting. Yeah, and, and uh, stay on the feature match. Honestly, I'm curious how it'll play out. Uh, it's getting a bit grindy all of a sudden. Like the thing is, how does Kipling Wave win when when Chris is at 22 and it, the board stalls out and he's out down on cards? It kind of requires like a big turn. He's like going a in. Look at this. Yeah, uh, he has to attack with the five three. Yeah. Oh, the, the, Chris. Chris exactly. already knew. Yeah. He yeah, already yeah. knew exactly yeah. how he was getting out of this. Such, yeah. Plus three to that thing. There plus we three, go. Plus one. So it trades with the owl bear, which is fine, and from Chris's perspective. Mm-hmm. Okay. Almost no more. Board. What a what a clean board, eh? Yeah, but yeah. see, I don't know if that was a good move for Chris or for uh, for Kipling because he's got one card in hand and Chris has got yeah. five. At least now I understand what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it takes. That's true. <laughs> so just to let everyone know, back at the other table, uh, Stair Command bounced Deluge's dragon, and then which is weird because then Deluge played the dragon again and did more damage to Austin. Uh, oh, he bounced with you came to a river. Yeah, yeah you came yeah, to a river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Look at this. Two two wolves. Rangers, mm. I think Kippers is toast. Oh, he just drew Paladin class. Oh. <laughs> Here it is. That game's over. Yeah. That card's too good. The funny thing was, my first couple drafts I did were on Arena. He's also got Forsworn Paladin. Oh, okay, check it. So yeah. he's going to bring up the Hydra. Yeah. The Hydra's, what, a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, he had this. Oh, the, no. Power, power word kill. kill. Yeah. <laughs> So get this I, Tommy, the first two drafts I did were on Arena Best of One, and both of them I had Paladin class, and every single game I played, it got destroyed. It, it has to be. Paladin class got destroyed. But it's enchantment. Like, everyone had the 1-3 destroy enchantment. Oh, okay. hey, look, anybody out there, anybody out there that knows me as a person knows the Paladin's the best, and Magic the Gathering just proved it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Travis Arrogance has got they a bunch of Sylvan uh, elves and stuff out there right now, and looks like he took game one against all his dust. <laughs> yeah. You called that one. Unfortunately, I, it, it's the power of cheap spells. Like, you, you kind of, you can't, uh, you can't, can't go too deep on the expensive spells. If you're new to limited, it's like an early lesson. You kind of look at Deluge. A mid, sort of a mid-range lesson you pick up, at least from my Deluge my is swinging in. Dragon, dragon, damage, creatures. Austin's not looking so good. Austin's at six. Rob gets treasure. Hey, Rob yep. got the uh, got yeah. The yeah finally, card. this is the first time we've seen it. In yeah, the feels feature. like yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, dragon, dragon fire. fire. Gets rid of the dragon. Kills the dragon, yeah. Very fitting, right? Yeah. Red dragons do kill black dragons. He had to two for one himself, though. Like, he had to block with the pixie guide and dragons fire it to kill it. Kippers is putting in more small creatures to try and fight off uh, Termacris. Oh, he's sideboarding it. Yeah. They're both sideboarding yeah, right now, yeah, and Chris yeah. is taking out a bunch of... Uh, play around for some uh, yeah. life-linking knights and stuff. It's more, uh, yeah. uh, what do you call it? He put in a sand boss, I saw that. He put in, no, he put in the, uh, the watch. You you hear something on watch. Yeah, sorry, I keep calling it sand blast. It is a sand blast. <laughs> it's a versatile sand blast. Yeah. It's a trumpeteering sand blast. It's, and it's cheaper. Trumpet it's blast. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, Daily's just, Daily's just wrecking this game. Command is, he's got the, oh, he's got the four or five, but I think Daily's just, just gonna just steal this one because Austin's at six. So I think you keep yeah. pushing the pressure. 
to be honest, even though he's got big butts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta keep the pressure on because he's at six and tap. Yeah, I mean you can't. Yeah, you can't make bad attacks, but it's hard not to have bad attacks from that vantage point. <laughs> like right, and the with all that mana open and a handful of of uh, stuff. Oh, he's got the uh, beholder. Oh, oh, is 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 Austin at six? You said Austin's at six. Oh, then yeah, then it's probably like you have to sometimes make a chump attack to press damage. Right? He's got like, the beholder thing in his hand. Oh, the actual beholder. I have the beholder. Oh, because the actual Beholder, the 6 mana 6-5, six <laughs> give your guys menace. Like, that would be amazing here, right? Like, hey, is he going to do it? He's I doing it. He's uh, doing it. He's going in. The thing is, he can't I have Beholder the 4-5 because of War 3. <laughs> yeah, 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 well, he's got the mana for it. Oh, no, yeah. No, it's, it, it, you'd have to have He's debating. I think, that, yeah. I think that giant stalled him back a minute. Mm -hmm. That might be enough for him to restabilize. I think you're supposed to pre-combat kill the 3-4... I don't know the rest of the sand. I think you're supposed to kill the 3-4, swing in. He didn't do anything. Here's, then, here's the current standings. Yeah, that's what I would have done. I think he was tapped out. Kipthing Wave is in first place at 24 points, the current standings. Of the whole league, right? Of the whole league right now, okay. based on, on the matches oh, to points wow. today. Okay. Okay. Austin's at 23. Okay. And oh, so that ma this match matters a lot. Yes, Austin, and Chris yeah. is at 22. So if Chris yeah. wins this match, he scoops the lead. Wow! Of so the these entire three series. are, yeah. And Austin, if so it Austin, is worth watching this match quite a bit. Yes, yeah. and if Austin actually wins these matches, he hold he he if he wins all three, he scoops the lead. Oh, it wow. is the actual beholder. Oh, it is. Oh, he should have played that last turn. Oh, Austin is going to Ray of Frost. And, unless he just drew it, but yeah, no, he had it in his hand, but yeah. And now Austin's got a chance. Austin's hellbent. That's not a good sign. Well, they're in game one, so let's go back to yeah, game two. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that is that the one three that makes treasures when it hits? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's got his uh, his dual yeah. null. Whenever that, I've I have not beaten that start. <laughs> I will say that I've not beaten that start. Well, Just we're that, about to find out. The combination can, of two cards. Chris can dis disassemble that. No problem. I mean, I've, there I've it is. Here it is. Ready? From there it is. Opponents. Yeah. You just yeah. see you later. And he ventures into the yep. dungeon. It's the scry one. He is. Is he going to keep it or is he not? So this is interesting to see who's going to scoop what prize. Who, yeah. Who's going to scoop what at this point. Well, interesting. Rob's attacking. <sighs> okay, so they, he, so the, his guys have menace here. Do they? His creatures have managed. Yeah, so he has to. So he's coming in so with whatever. Austin he's got. has to double block one thing, which is probably the big thing if he's at actually at six. Yeah, he's at six. Yeah. I mean, it's not looking good for him. Yeah. Oh, uh, Kipling put down the. Uh, oh. The, the bomb, goblin. The bomb. The wide. Coming. The goblin yeah. wide. <laughs> I look what he got. Sphere of annihilation. Mm -hmm. And there's two two drops out there right now. I think that's. I think. If yeah, he drops that and wipes those two, it's he's over. he's stabilized. Yeah. yeah. So land. Does he it's go? Just, I wonder if he's going to goad him though. Because Chris is, does this. Yeah, he, you, you can't play it now. If you play it now, you wipe your guy too. So it's a two Oh, look at that. Right? Like, so they block out. Yeah. He's going to do it though. Oh, does he have minus four, minus one, or whatever? Uh, <sighs> is he going to try and goad it? That's the question. Yeah, because here's the thing, Tommy. If he plays it now, he kills his own guy too. Yeah, you're right. It okay, kills, look, he is right, goading like, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smart. Yeah, so. And then he gets the wolf and stuff. So the sphere yeah. kills everything. Of that and below. I think so. I think so. So it kills one wolf, but at least <laughs> he's got a chump change block. And it, and it waits a turn. So it yeah, gives, let's go find the sphere. So that would give Kipling Wave a chance to just like not play to the board. It's a two for two. You don't there get it right. Yeah. Uh, Kip yeah, drops. A, Kip, equal or less to. Kip yeah, drops yeah. a three. Equal to or less than the mana value. And he's bringing uh, his guys in for Swing Town. He's blocking with the wolf because he knows. Because he knows it's going to die. Yeah. 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 So even a chump here is fine if that's the plan, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he triggers. Chumps. He almost forgot the trigger on the goblin making. Yeah. yeah. Box there. Yeah. What's his plan? Oh man, I keep going back to it, Deluge it keep, as well. It keeps looking the same though. <laughs> So he's blocking with Channel the wolf. Channeler got in to get a trigger, I guess. 
Jack and Decree are swinging left and right. Yeah. It's a big mess over there. Although Black Jack is down to six, so you called this one. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's watch. the one I was. Honestly, watch, here, watch. Here's where Chris. Here's where Chris does it. Decree of Annihilation and Blasphemy Act was the one I was most unsure of. It. That could so, go what do you way. think he does? Blasphemy Act or? Um, oh, with Chris. The sphere. He drops the sphere now. Pops it for three. He attacks first. He first drops the sphere. Pops it. Yep. One. I don't know if he needs to, though. With everything. His, his life's 11. Depends what the rest of his hand is. Uh, he, I, I think he knows that that goblin can go very wide very fast. But he's only on three mana. And, and only one red source. Kipling's a, Oh, he, he does it. He did it. He does okay. it. Because he can do it at any time, right? Yeah. For I, four. Wow. That was a tough call because... Blowing up the board other than his 4-1... If he draws something to play, it's such a stall tactic. Yeah, if he draws something to play it that blocks the four, he's one, coming in. Yeah. Well, oh, he's just blocking it yeah, out because because the world's gonna blow up, right? Like, yeah. Other than the four one. He's playing so smart right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's got him. But here's the thing: the board's gonna be a four one. He only. just cleared his. He just cleared his board out. Well, he's 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 doing it without doing this the is going off. Oh, it's, he he made it go off. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. he's preemptively. So the world is it's just a four one now. But if, if Kipling Wave gets like anything to He's got a ball, Grim Bounty in his and, hand too. Oh, so that's why yeah, that's why he was allowed to be aggressive with it. Now he just ventures. Oh wait, is that oh what is that? It's a plus <laughs> one plus oh plus four plus plus three what is it? It's the uh, Was banner. it Great Axe? Yeah, Great Axe. Oh yeah, plus yeah, plus four plus oh. Five mana do we Brings crime? Kipling down to six. I think Kips is not doing so well. I think we know who's going to get this one. What it comes down to is between D D D uh -huh. and who won. Did Dailies win it? Shit. I don't know. We missed we'll, it. We'll Grim Bounty. And that's the game. The excitement will be when the Terma Chris plays. takes <laughs> it. Wow. Woo. Wow. wow. That was a, I don't think, I don't think Kipling even had a chance there. But see, remember, it came down to the sphere. If he drew the sphere. Yeah, you're I, right. It made it easy, I mean, right? he got like, his double null combo and I thought for sure it was going to happen, but I yeah. knew, Chris just it knows was weird. shit. It was weird there because Chris had the sphere and oh. the Kipling wave was getting stuck on mana. So, like, it made it weird where I know that feeling when, like, you have the reset button in hand. Yeah. And, but your opponent's stumbling and you're like, don't need to reset them so quickly. Like, <laughs> you don't need to wrath them, right? Like, well, Chris was coming back with a vengeance. He yes. was telling me, like, yeah. last, last yeah. week he got pretty hammered, but oh, this yeah. week he was like, he's coming back with it. And you're right, Decree yeah. got it. Oh, yeah. Decree beat yeah. Blasphemous. That, I, that was the one I was most unsure of, but that could have gone either way, in my opinion. Wow, Justin gets on the board. He didn't go 0 2. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And the fight continues. Yeah. And it looks like Rob won the one game yeah, one. Yeah, Nosek got it. Yeah. This is a good fight. Now the real match what, begins. I think what happened at the end there that we missed was Austin had kind of had, had seven, to get... three trample. And he had to get lucky by attacking with his 4-3 channeler, which reveals the top card of your deck, or maybe sometimes two, and you get to play them that turn. Yeah. Um, and, like, he had to hope to flip well, and I don't think it worked. So, so let's see here. Chris gains three points off that match. I'm just going to add that to his final score. Putting Chris's total at Chris is at twenty five in the ending of this of this game, and Aaron wow. and Aaron stays at twenty four. Wow! So Aaron is in second place. Trimmer Chris rakes back into first. Here comes the build. The build. Yeah, uh, they're, they're <laughs> discussing. The build, uh, uh, if uh, so, Deluge got one, putting him at twenty. If he wins the other two, he goes to twenty two. Yeah. Which is a huge swing for Rob, considering he was second last place, third last place. So this yeah. this is his week yeah, to swing true. back. This was really exciting for me because seeing Chris build this Abzan, a sort of black green splash white. Deck, you love and, Abzan, yeah, and seeing it work out, and I haven't I haven't got to experience that yet in the format of my five drafts or whatever. Like getting to see that, it was just awesome. Yeah, I know you're a big fan yeah. of Abzan too. And like he was just taking like the good stuff, like Planeswalker. Okay, the. Wrath, okay. <laughs> so no six got a board presence already, and Austin has no mana. Oh mm. no! So who do you want to talk to? Do you want to? We'll watch out the no six. Oh, because there's an end chat. This is, this is the there's end chat. End yeah, chat. so then you get to talk to someone now. Yeah. We like to when the last game is finished. We like to wrap it up for the quick. Yeah. So we'll do our interviews now while we're playing, and yeah. you can keep commentating with wouldn't it, players. Wouldn't it usually be the winner? Or oh, you said oh yeah, we're gonna also... we're gonna talk to Chris. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, you're definitely gonna talk to the winner, okay. and then uh, you can follow yeah. up with anybody else that you want to. We like yeah. to spread it out too, so if there's yeah. anybody that we haven't talked yeah. to, like uh, maybe find out what happened with All Is Just. 
yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. But for now, uh, maybe talk to Kipling, find out what happened there at the end. Yeah. Um, but we'll get Trimmer Chris prepared, and we'll bring him back in a second. I just want to see this Nosek Dalish fight go. I think he's, I think he's gonna crush Austin. I think he's got Austin here. Yeah, I'd love Trimmer Chris. If you can bring Trimmer Chris in, that'd be great. Term of Chris <laughs> today. Yeah, this is. Uh, so he takes the lead on the league, eh? He takes the lead on the uh, league. Okay. Uh, the okay. only way he what doesn't take the lead on the league right now, is if Austin can somehow turn it around, take take this match and then win it, they'll yeah. be tied for first. Okay. So Austin okay. has to win both of his matches to be tied for first. Ladies hey, and gentlemen, <laughs> the 0 and 3 to 3 0 <laughs> champion. Classic. Chris, yeah, yeah, grab a seat. Um, I'll let you take my seat. Okay. Congrats, Chris. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was really exciting. I, I, I'll lead off where I left, where I was yeah. telling Tommy. It was exciting for me to see uh, in this format the black green deck. Yeah, the black green deck's <laughs> the worst black deck. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know if you were watching the draft at all, but oh yeah, yeah. Was, in fact, yeah, okay. when I hard committed to black immediately, yep. you were like mono. Yeah, I was yeah. like mono black. Yeah. I was like, and I was definitely yeah. thinking, okay, I'm mono black. I'm yeah. probably looking to play either you know the black red aggro deck or maybe black white with it. Yeah. Um, those are the best things to go. And Agreed. Then, that's exactly what yeah. I was telling Tom. Yeah. <laughs> so like that's what I was thinking. I was yeah. doing. I'm like I'm drafting some treasure, thinking like yeah. the black red deck's a treasure deck. Gonna yeah. need this. Maybe it'll yeah. help splash later. Yeah. Pick an evolving wilds because you know those yeah. are always good. And then that pack yeah. two pick one Eliwick. I'm like that's oh. right. That's right. Yeah. Should I try it? Yeah. And you know, and yeah. green has enough of that like stuff that's just like value creatures. They yeah. they can they can get defensive enough. Like yeah. This was actually to be honest, like your green deck. Yours was the best green deck I've seen that played the four one that makes a wolf. Yeah, like that that had yeah. the most value in the deck in like out of all the decks I've seen playing and mm -hmm. watching. I was and stuff. very happy with how that like, card it's played almost out. it's it's like almost as good as an owl bear in your deck. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's really good. Um, and whereas like I've fallen off on that card a bit, but in your deck it yeah. was like perfect. It goes wide. Yeah, I've fallen defense. off a little bit on everything five CMC and higher except for yeah, owl bear, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Green's definitely not the strongest color, yeah. but it felt like it it went really nicely. And then when you when yeah. you got the paladin class, I was like both excited and also like okay on the splash like it's slow right yeah. it's slower on the splash because you need white to activate to level up yeah and then uh, no and, talk it oh did he talk I wasn't watching because we were talking hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Demo. yeah yeah it was around two finals there I got you, no you, you dodged a, <laughs> you dodged got, a deck no yeah. oh, yeah. Rob's deck was Chris nuts. So let's yeah. let's finish off with uh, we'll go over to Travis arrogance and all is just so to see who wins the best. Is that the mono white deck? Or yes, yeah, yeah, there is a mono white deck. Yeah. Too, yeah. Um, so yeah, you had the uh, the paladin class, and yeah. I, was, I was like worried for you because like on the splash it felt a bit slow, like you can just yeah. get beaten down with it in your hand. Mm -hmm. or that, but you built the deck right, like you built yeah. you built you built toward the long game. I, I felt like with Paladin class when I took it, I knew that if I played that card, I would only be able to activate it once per turn. Exactly. And I decided exactly. that it was good enough anyways, because with two Evolving Wilds, I was confident I could get the white for it. It's yeah. just the, the one per turn yeah. thing makes it slower. Well, it's like, sure. it's yeah. like up there in the, like, one of the best versions. Yeah, I was side, right? like yeah. honestly flabbergasted that it got past it. Yeah. I was like, yeah. in, in no situation would I ever pass this. Back Me to too. Pick one. Me too. Like, this is probably the best white <laughs> card in the set. One of the top five cards in the set, even in the right deck. And, uh, yeah. I, uh, I'll give my little bit of bad beats. My first two, I mean, it sounds like a privilege, but my yeah. first two arena drafts, I I usually draft on Magic Online, but I was yeah. like, I have enough coins, I'll draft on Arena. Yeah, sure. And then I took two Paladin classes in the first two drafts. <laughs> and I, not two in each, but, yeah, yeah, but one, one. Each, one. Yeah. And I had didn't play a game where it didn't get destroyed. <laughs> it was best yes. of one, and so everyone's playing the one three. In the, in the one game, I had a little bit of a heart attack when uh, Austin Commands played Plundering Barbarian, and I did not remember if it was Enchantment or right, Artifact. Right, right, right. I was right. like, oh no, my Paladin yeah. class. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, that card's artifacts. great. The two two yeah. Grey Ogre that blows up. Uh, yeah. It's, it, 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 yeah, it went up in my yeah. estimation. No, anyway, way to go, Chris. That's yeah. awesome, right. awesome deck. Yeah, I, honestly, I got pretty lucky with my opens. I was able to play a lot of powerful cards, which you don't always. It was get a collection of power. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was mm -hmm. literally like Abs and Modern used to be. <laughs> but, uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, way to go. Yeah. Congrats, Thank Chris. You. All right, Dosik, you're in. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no game loss. I impressive. 
Rob, I told him I told him he dodged you because there's a round two finals for you. <laughs> yeah. That okay, so I wanna start with how greedy I ended up being round two. Yeah. Uh, I was on tilt after game two. I know. We saw your hand. I yeah. know. I'm I know. like, I'm gonna try it. Yep. I don't think I'll get there. Yep. And I would have gotten there if I didn't draw literally half my black cards. Yep. <laughs> it just it yep. was so brutal. It happens to the worst of us and the best of us. It's yeah. you know, it's I was telling, as you were keeping that hand, I was telling Tommy, like, he did what I would have done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like, it's he, like he you have to, right? Because I, I took, like, based on what we saw of your deck, there was, like, 50-50 to work out for you. Yeah. It was, you were 50-50 to just, like, get there and win, or, like, 50-50 to lose. And it's, it's like a coin flip. It feels and, bad and when it's a coin funnily flip. Funnily enough, game two of this last round, I had yeah. the exact opposite situation, all black, no red. Uh-huh. But uh -huh. I drew two red. Yeah, I know. I saw yeah. that. I saw did, that. Did you yeah, see the yeah. final play? Um, did, did you guys catch what this, happened Of there? round three? Yeah. No, okay. I, did, I missed it. So, Tommy might have. Yeah. Okay, so Austin was land screwed. Yes. Um, he okay. couldn't do anything. Yeah. I cast Delir on turn four. Okay. Uh, and I had my 1T uh, Fangblade in play. Okay. Got two triggers off of it. So <laughs> oh, I yeah. full ventured into, like, through, through, through the, the dungeon. Through the dungeon. And also, on top of that, hit him for a 3, 5, 7, 9. Uh, so he just insta scooped. Wow, wow. Because, like, wow. yeah, he would have uh, lost up to four life on top of that if he didn't discard. Uh, he didn't have an artifact or creature to sack, so that's guaranteed two life lost. That's right, that's right. Um, so, yeah, he yeah. would, it would have been a really bad time for the, him. So. The dungeons are nifty like that. Yeah. So, there, uh, this just made me recall one play back round two. Yeah, when you were playing against uh, Kipling? Uh, yeah. Or, like, yeah, so Aaron. yeah, so he so you had Black Dragon. Yeah, he had the two two in play and the two two with a counter. Yeah, the two two that can double his toughness and two two with a counter. Uh, and you play Black Dragon and he had four mana up into his two two multicolor card. Mm -hmm. He could have doubled to survive. Yeah, I, and I, and he and he just went with it. And I was telling Tommy like we were both t talking about this for a while or. The beauty of paper magic and in person again is like nothing gets highlighted in your face. Yeah. Like if Rob, if you want to go like slam your black dragon like well, confidently, well, and <laughs> see, that, that's the thing that happened to me. Yeah. Uh, game one against Austin. Yeah. Because I don't know if you noticed, but uh, where is it? I cast. Um, I might have missed this. Yeah. Oh yeah, I cast. Where is it? Uh, it's a good thing I brought my deck with me. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a new format. We're still like. Yeah. I, uh, oh yeah, you come you come to the null camp. Okay. Uh, I was gonna make. Was that the falter one? Uh, it's the, yeah, the one where up to two creatures. Yes, can't block. Can't block so or, he only had yeah. the two creatures. I jumped the gun and attacked, and I'm like, oh, wait. Because it, is it sorcery only? It's instant. Oh, it but, is instant. Okay. But uh, yeah. he already declared his block. Ah, okay. So it's like, oh okay. wait. But yeah. then it also, uh, I, I could have just not cast Zalto and just cast that to win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because the other thing was one of his creatures had Ward Three, which yeah. I didn't catch because I wasn't yeah. paying attention. Yeah, I know. That's paper I magic know. for you. Exactly, especially it's early in the format. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's and it's fun. Like, like online sometimes that stuff gets highlighted, and I, I like, I appreciate that. It's like new player friendly and stuff. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I play online more than paper so i i get i get crippled when it comes to paper sometimes oh my god like it's because yeah. because <laughs> yeah. you're so used to one format, yeah, right yeah. now you're suddenly yeah. having you know, physical play is so different yeah but uh anyway yeah. that was fun to watch it was fun to see it play out it was really fun to play zalto ended up being an mvp yeah um, and your deck did you well like it was at least a 2-1 deck it, yeah it, it, I, I thought it was 3-0 but it was it I, all came down to that one like it, hand it really, keep and, it could have gone 3-0 yeah, and, and yeah. the guy who beat me looks to be up next yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you kept a greedy hand. Yes, I kept a greedy hand, but you know what? I feel vindicated because yeah. the man who knows much more than me would have done it too. Ladies and gentlemen, the saltine cracker. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of salt on that, uh, that last match. Not gonna lie. Uh, if you listen back to this, you're gonna. Uh, I, I was talking smack a lot about about not. I loved your deck, but I kept talking about how bad the one drops are. Yeah, but they were so good for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I think maybe I learned a lesson. I think I think uh, I was talking um, with my oh, I can't remember his name. I'm really bad with names. My round three yeah. opponent. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that I don't remember your name. I'm it's not you. Uh, but anyways, 
he, he brought up the point and it's kind of what I was going for. Yeah. My two drops and three drops were yeah. so good that I really yeah. wanted to get the pack tactics on turn three. That makes sense. Yeah. And that's why yeah. I would put in the one drop. You kind of, and what, what, after you draft, you're left with what you draft and then yeah. like you kind of have to fill in the blanks sort of thing. And, yeah. And it worked out, especially like your round one, like they, they, like it, we, we saw, um, what all is just, we saw his deck build. And like a lot of his removals that or interactions at the five six mana slot. Yeah. So like when you're playing one drops into two drops yeah. into three drops, it's, it's over unfortunately for him. But like then I thought, okay, when you run into Rob, he has shocks, he has stuff. So he, if he deals with just the big stuff and your one power stuff is getting through, no big deal to yeah. him. But no, it what you got you were able to pump. There was one point when you pumped, you had the two three right, and that that two three gave the one one plus power, yeah. and he had the 4-3 in play, and that trade, like, yeah. you can block, because yeah. it would trade. Yeah, the 1-1 one, one trade. Because it would deal a damage. Three, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> so that was that was kind of interesting to watch. I think, I've, I, think I learned a few things about, like... Well, and, like, and the you come to a null camp is just... It's the fault so ridiculous. The so many games two were Two creatures won. can't block. Yeah, just, yeah. So many were games were won across the table. Anyone who had that card, it was like, it yeah. all came to that. I, I drafted three of them, and I was just, I don't think it was correct to put all three in, so... They get worse in multiples, yeah. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Agreed. Yeah. Because yeah. the the second mode of the plus three, plus one isn't nearly as good. Yeah, it, yeah. It's okay to trade, yeah. but really, you're using that yeah. card to, to punch through for lethal. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the, I don't know, going back a few form uh, sets, there was... Oh, Theros. I think it was the return of Theros or whatever. Deal one to three different creatures yeah, and they, they all can't block. block. Yeah. yeah. And that card I underestimated similarly with this and and like that won so many games. Oh, yeah. Like, they're... It's literally Moving like... the ability to interact on board when you're playing an aggro deck mm -hmm. is just so strong. It feels like that's kind of where they've taken like that overrun effect. Yes. Like that overrun it used to be like just power and trample and everything. Now it's like they've taken it more towards the falter like they balance it a bit. Green gets yeah. a little bit of stats. Yeah, they give a green the... fight in exchange for yeah. making just big, exactly. dumb piles of exactly. stats. Exactly. No, that was cool, though. It's cool to see. It's funny. Every time you played Null into multicolored, uh, both the pack tactics yeah. creatures, I kept telling Tommy, like, I lost to this four days ago and three days ago. And, like, that exact start, like, it yeah, just... It's... Uh, I just can't, I can't beat yeah. it because you need the early interaction and I have yet to draft the Dragonfire. And <laughs> yeah. they're, they're premium cards that don't get more yeah. than like three packs in. Yeah. But, no, uh, I was a little disappointed. I, I had the, the the Magic Missiles. Yep. I, just, I never saw it all night. Oh, yeah, it's one of those cards that just didn't, you didn't draw. Yeah, no, yeah it's, it's, it's it, rare, it, it but it happens. Help me out, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I was watching a friend draft recently and he had three magic missiles in his deck, and every time he had it in hand, his opponent had like a one three, a two three oh, in play. No. And like, it's like you can't, like you don't even want to kill these creatures. No. <laughs> it, like if it was if it was a doom blade, like you'd be like, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I can trade it. But just because you, you want to get the value yeah. out of multiple targets, yeah, yeah. it just feels and so bad. And you're spending three mana to yeah. do it. Yeah. No, but that's cool. You, yeah. All you know, a lot of these decks are really good. Like, oh, it, yeah, it was absolutely. hard to call any of the matches. We were trying our best, but it was, there it was, was hard. Yeah. A lot of the value I find from this set is in the three and four slots. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. With the exception of like the signpost on commons. Yeah. They're just yeah. so good. Yeah. And those are all like, and those are, um, I mean, uh, what's the the red white ones four mana sure, but a lot of them are like two mana. Yeah. Uh, the blue white ones three, I guess, but the they they punch so hard and so early. Yeah. Well, the. Uh, the one, the the white green one, the Trellisara yep. or yep. something. I can't Scry remember exactly. Scry one, get, get put a counter on it. Game life, yeah. That's insane. Yeah, for a two drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I do like that archetype. But one thing I've noticed about this format that I've underappreciated, and you guys kind of seem to respect it, is the speed of the format. It's yeah, so it's it's it's, a, it's, it's one of the fastest format. core sets yeah. <laughs> we've seen. Core sets. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we sure. gotta we gotta flush the sodium and bring in some Himalayan right, salt. Right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right, all right. But Alice just got it. He won. Yeah. So come on in, Alice. Just right. thanks. Nice. Thanks, oh, nice. cool. Yeah. They're in. Yeah. Oh, nice. So you took that final, that last match. Oh man, that was. Now uh, we're gonna go to a thing. The last of the matches. Yeah. 
So oh, people are still playing. Okay. So how did how, as you were drafting, how did it go? How do you feel? It so went? I came in with a stipulation, which okay. is always a good way to lose. Nice. <laughs> so I noticed that this deck has two like commons yeah. that are three mana counter spells, like yep. semi unconditional, yep. just like gone. Yep. So I was like, beforehand, I was like, yep. last week I was the party deck because I was okay. I played Mardi Mardu Gras, like Mardu Amazing. party Amazing. in uh, what is it? The last set, the cow. Oh, is that what you guys said last week? Zendikar, yeah, Zend right. Okay. Zendikar, yeah. Riley? I don't know the names, but yeah. Yeah, okay. So I played Party in yeah. Zendikar, and apparently it was a thing that they were talking about a lot, and they watched a couple. Yeah. Where I had the, the best party card, where it's like everyone gets plus one indestructible, yay, it's a fun time. Oh, that's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And yeah. so, so <laughs> funny enough, it actually wheeled to me, which is crazy. But yeah. so we're talking about how I was the party deck, and everyone was saying it's the party, like it's a yeah. party where I play. So I was like, <laughs> Well, that's not fun because one of my friends got the title the party pooper because she beat me. <laughs> so I switched to now I'm the party pooper. So I yeah. stipulated I'm only going to draft counter spells and instant speed <laughs> removal. No fun cards. Yeah. yeah. And so Denial, I, yeah. I, I think beforehand I looked like the best instant speed removal is in red. Yep. And my first pick was a land, another okay. rare land as my pack one pick one, which is great. Yeah. I like four. Four drafts in, I've done it three yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. So really good value there, uh, <laughs> winning. And then there was like a counter spell with it. Sure, sure. Or no, yeah. sorry, there was fly, which is like a good way to get good value while yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. so maybe I can put attacking. a one one with this, yeah. and then it can venture for me and find me more counter spells. Yeah. Yeah. So I just went all in on yeah, counter yeah, yeah. spells after that, and nice, nice. I I saw black was open, or I thought black was open. I'm not yeah. very good at draft, but I thought black yeah. was open because I got like a pack with five pretty good black cards in it. Yeah, and yeah, I think we saw that. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, okay, I guess black is my second color. There's removal yeah. in black, right? Yeah. If only I'd found some. I had the uh, two, the two six man of minus eleven, minus eleven. Yeah, I as know. my best yeah. removal. And then I saw like fireball, 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 fireball. Yeah. It's like those are the cards I was planning on using. Yeah, exactly. That was how to be no fun. No, I know that. Sometimes it gets train wrecked like that. I know the feeling. It's 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 tough. It's what can you do? But I, unfortunately, like when we saw you building your deck, your deck looks so good and fun. And I, I've drafted this archetype once that that the blue black actual the like blue control deck get, get hits. And, oh, the and, control. And get in. Okay. It gets in like with thieves tools or whatever. Like yeah. that's what you kind of need. I I saw a thieves tool, but yeah. it was at the same time as a counter spell. And I told myself yeah, I'm yeah, taking yeah. counter spells, so I took <laughs> the counter go. spell. I only oh. ended up with four too, and only yeah. one huh. like the better counter spell in my mind was the two mana one or yeah. the the two blue one where it's counter spell or double loot. Yeah, yeah. The and then it hits booth. it hits yeah. anything, whereas yeah. this other one only hits creatures. Creatures, and but you venture with it. And there is a turn in this most recent game <laughs> where I held up the venture one. Yeah. And my opponent played a class and leveled it up, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, that, that's, that's so the worst brutal." You, when you already know you lost one that happened, yeah, it's brutal. <laughs> but I, like I, when you were building your deck, I loved the look of it. And then when you when you showed your you, like you showed it on curve, right? Yeah, it looked sweet. And then when I, and we saw your six drops, I was like, "No, you want to play all of these, but you can't <laughs> find room because you had the you had two of the two five flyers, right?" Yeah, I I went like. The, the fact that I got so I was originally pl trying to figure out how to play as much of them. Like I, yeah. I passed one of the warden dragons. I'm like, there's no way I need two yeah, of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have played all of them, but I got steamrolled in game yeah. one. I was like, oh, this must be a fast. The format. format's fast. It's I've learned I learned this the hard way too. <laughs> it's fast. So yeah, oh, and, I, then, and then when you got steamrolled, like we you were you were playing that mana rock, which is amazing. I think that's an is amazing it good? card. I, I cut it. I was like, man, this no. sucks. All my counter spells are on three. This is on yeah. three. What a no, waste of my time. I think it's actually a good card. Like I think it's actually a decently early pick and draft i might be wrong i'm no authority on this i've done five drafts but i do think it's better than i thought i thought it was kind of garbage <laughs> but well, now, I, I usually play the 50 feet of rope yeah which yeah, is yeah, four yeah, mana do the same yeah. thing and not a mana rock yeah. and i've done it yeah. like several times because my go-to was the let's yeah. just venture because it's the yep. it's the cool new mechanic so yep. i just anything yep. that says venture on it the third in the and deck it, and it's auto flexibility like it's flexibility for your like you get to choose rooms and dungeons and stuff but um yeah you you just like you had to play it because you had so many fives and sixes like you had that high curve and then but then you're unfortunately getting beat down by two drops and stuff and you were trying to be the no fun police, but people were still having fun. <laughs> They're having more fun than usual. Yeah, th this was a zero sum fun deck. I think yeah. either I was having all the fun or they were, and I was not having any the, fun. The, the ironic thing was when we were watching builds, I, I was telling Tommy, like, 
that's going to be the most fun deck to play. Yours. I, I, was like, that, I don't know how well it'll do, but that's going to be the most fun deck to play. And unfortunately, it, like, yeah, I, you got beat down. I just needed, like, two pieces of early removal. A bit of it, one last thing, bit of it was matchup dependent. I think if you got paired against the two slower decks, you would have had a much better time. So, yeah. All right, yeah. well, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, well, we're at the end of the match here, and we can do our sign off soon. But it looks like yeah. looks like Got Decree is gonna lose this one. She's at four, Blasphemous is at eighteen, and he's uh, he's got a roll right now. He's got a hand. He's got a mitt full of presents, uh, a really big <laughs> Bruner battle hammer, and this is it. I, I forget what fighter class does. I haven't seen that. Hold up. Yeah, let's see. So it looks like first place is Termacris. He has taken back his lead. Boys, Termacris <laughs> has taken back his lead. And um, 24, so 25 points we got the Termacris. Uh, with 24 points we've got Kipling Wave. He manages to keep his uh, second place. What'd you get? Oh, Fighter Class. So when you, when you, when it answers about the search your library for an equipment, put it into your hand, and shuffle. Equip abilities cost two less to activate. Okay, yeah, it's the white, it's the white red equipment nonsense. Oh, it, it forces blocks on level three. That's cool. I was just about to call it a day, and she just put to sleep. Big ass burner battle hammer. How did we never see her play fighter class? All or blasphemous jack? Uh, oh, he, sorry. No, I was looking at the wrong side. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah no, no. Yeah, he yeah, hasn't. Yeah. He, it's his first time. He drafted yeah, that. It was his yeah. uh, pack one. Pick one, I think. Right, 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 right. I still think he's got it because he's got two creatures. He just re equips onto the two creatures yeah. and goes wide. Yeah. Free equip, plate mail. That's it. Yeah. Kaboom. He gets the. So she gets one point. And he gets okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, here Final we go. Stats, but <laughs> Final stats for the fourth week of season one of the Weatherlight Cruise live draft. In first place, we have Termacris. <sighs> That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second place, holding on to his his second place into a nice, uh, just one point behind at twenty four is Kipling Wave. Right. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, we've got third place is Austere Command. Even after the Bromple stomping he got, yeah, he got yep. third place. Yeah, uh, fourth place is Nosik Deluge, who went yep. from third last to fourth. He jumped up, big he jump. He jumped, up. Yeah, yeah, major yeah. pendulum he, swing. If he there. went, if he if he went three zero today, that would have been nuts. Yeah, major pendulum yeah. swing there. Um, so it's Rob, and then in fifth place is Hannah, Annihilation. Okay. Yep, uh, mm -hmm. at twenty one points, and then jump into nineteen points. All is just. So yep. not too bad. Still a chance yep. to swing forward. I it's think when you're, when, you're, when you're in a five to six, it's a close spread. Well, hold right, on, yeah. we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, scoring a total of uh, seven. Oh, sorry, that's two points he gets today because he's going to get the two. This is fifteen. Scoring a total of two, three, four, five, six, six points. Yeah. Which is yeah. two thirds of what Blasphemous Jack has got. Yeah. His entire season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So second last is uh, Blasphemous Jack fifteen. Thank you, Alex, for playing. And in last place, but with a lot of heart, <laughs> Travis Arrogance at 11 yeah, points. Yeah. So, man, did you have fun? Yeah, oh, big time. This, is, this is amazing. Thank to, you so much watch. for coming. Especially uh, new format. Like, it's really exciting. It's fa yeah. fantastic. We will be playing Forgotten Realms again next week, so the players will have a chance to really dig in. I think, I, in fact, I think we're going to play it for the next three weeks. Um, and then we are going to uh, try and, and we're going to make some public votes, whatever. We'll try and vote back to where we're going to go. Yeah. Probably going to continue playing this. But we might swing. We might do Modern Horizons too. We might swing into uh, Strixhaven again or something. But we've got. Cool. We're gonna do an eight-week cool. season. So this is the so the fifth one we're gonna do. Uh, thanks for the comments, guys. Thanks for the watch. Yeah, Andrew, it's yeah. been amazing. Yeah. We'll have you back whenever you want. Oh uh, yeah. You well, let me know any of the next four weeks you want to come back. You can come back. I'd love in. to. I appreciate it. It's been a it's been a fun time. Yeah. But if Andrew doesn't come back, we'll have <laughs> Slot of the Blong next week again. So come on back out and Slot of the Blong can have his comment here and see how it works. Until then, uh, let's sign off. All right. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Don't Fun forget times. to watch the rest of our stream. <laughs>